Now that you have a strong understanding of the controller and its functions, let's make a cut in automatic mode. Reset the emergency stop by pulling out the red button. There will be a short delay to allow the software to load. Press the machine start button to start the hydraulics. Next, the head must pass 90 degrees. Pressing the head swing right or head swing left keys will swing the saw head in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. You can use the fast approach button to move the head. However, the passing of 90 degrees must be done in slow mode. If the saw head is not at 90 degrees, you will see the following screen stating swing the head through 90 degrees. Press the head retract key until the head is fully retracted. Once the head is fully retracted and the head is past 90 degrees, the display screen will change to manual mode. To enter auto mode, the infeed vise must be in the closed position. Press the yellow enable and infeed vise close button together to close the vise. When the auto mode is activated, a red indicator light will turn on. The touchscreen display will change to the job display window and you can edit or start a new job. All manual functions will be disabled. To start or edit a job in auto mode, click the gray input box next to go to job number. Key in your desired job number from 1 to 1000 on the touchscreen and press enter. The keypad will disappear and you will now see your job number at the top highlighted in yellow. Select clear job to clear all previous properties. Select your desired cut profile as illustrated on the touchscreen. Input your desired dimensional properties by selecting the gray box and inputting the required information on the numerical keypad and press enter. If a number entered is beyond the capabilities of the machine, you will receive an error notice. Overall height is always the height of the actual material. The top length measurement is automatically set by the length and angles entered. Enter the number of pieces required by touching the gray box next to quantity required. When the numeric keypad pops up, enter the number of pieces you require and hit enter. The last number to be entered is quantity cut. If this is a new job, you'll want to reset this number to zero so that the desired number of pieces cut is the same as quantity required. The job is now ready to start its run. If necessary, you can program additional jobs by repeating the previous steps, starting by selecting the job number to create a new job or by hitting the next job button. Once all desired jobs have been programmed, press the Q button. The purpose of the Q is to allow the operator to run several jobs in a series. Here you will see the job Q window. Press clear Q to erase any previous job queues. You should now see all job numbers with a default setting of zero, meaning no jobs have been inputted. Select the first Q block on the interface and key in your desired job number and press enter. You will now see the desired job listed in the queue. Continue entering any additional jobs to run in queue, being mindful that all jobs must use the same material and shape. The jobs will run in order from block one to block 20. After all jobs have been entered, Select the Start Q key on the touchscreen interface. The job queue window will disappear and the display will prompt you to initiate the job queue by pressing Cycle Start and Blade Start on the keypad. The machine will then start readying for its first cut, the trim cut. We recommend that you lower the feed rate to allow for adjustments in blade speed before increasing the feed rate for the first cut. Adjust the blade speed using the blade speed plus and minus keys until you see the desired blade speed on the touchscreen display. After completion of the queue, the blade will turn off and the head will retract back to a fully retracted position. The machine will stop and the hydraulics will power off. To turn the machine and hydraulics back on, press the machine start key. And that's all you need to do to make a cut in automatic mode.